previously on Titan's Grave, the Ashes of Alcana. After Malroth Village was saved, a mysterious orb was received, and a new friend was made, Gerlock the Beer Baron. During a celebration at the Pegasus Roadhouse, I'm going to go to the dance floor and I'm going to make a dexterity check for awesome. The Beer Baron's robot Keggy had bad news. White Hawks! White Hawk Bandit blocking the road! The beer! Our heroes saved the beer and the Baron from the White Hawk Bandits and returned to the Pegasus for another round on the house. Eons before Valcona heard her own name, she bore witness to beings not of this realm. These ancients planted the seeds of life on Valcona, and as that life grew and civilizations formed, the thirst for supremacy blossomed into war. Gifted with an unmatched intellect, the Saurian Empire built mighty war machines and claimed dominion on Valcona until the heavens themselves fell upon them. Valcona was plunged into darkness and a thousand years of war. In this crucible, great heroes were forged, and together they extinguished the flames of battle. A new civilization was built on the ruins of the old, a peaceful world of magic and science. But the forces of chaos are patient, and not easily contained. Left to fester, ancient evils threaten to emerge and unleash mayhem upon the world. And so to face them, new heroes must arise from the ashes of Valkana. You've returned yourselves back to the Pegasus Roadhouse where you have had a mighty celebration. As the evening draws on, uh, you notice that the, the Baron, something's gnawing at him. Is it the fact right? that a bunch of his friends have just been murdered? As a matter of fact, it is. Oh. Oh. He tells you Damn it. that the Pegasus Roadhouse is his final stop on this <gasps> year's delivery schedule, oh, as it life. always is. Um, and he needs to get the caravan back to his estate in the suburbs of Nestora, and his estate is called Brew Core. Brew of course core. it is. Awesome. Yeah, that's the genre right. of music that I would like to be invented. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes! I'm a huge fan of Brew Core. Wow. <laughs> Who are some of the artists that work in the Brew Core genre? <laughs> Hops along, Cassidy. Um, oh! So, well, well Thank you. done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Speaking of all of that, <laughs> he says to you, I need to get the caravan back to, to Brew Corps. And he says that, you know, most of his guards were slain in that attack. And the road back to Nestora is not going to be particularly friendly. How much are you going to pay us? Yeah. Oh, snap. Of course, he'll pay you in, in gold. And, and he promises you a celebration at Brew Corps and beer. that will make every celebration you have ever seen before seem like but the frothy head on a keg of beer before the actual ale is delivered. So he's, he's I, promising I don't know, I celebrate money, quite a bit. And gold. <laughs> and gold, gold and beer. Gold yeah. and beer. I feel like offering me uh, a party in reward for the service of, of bring your, our lives yeah, at risk. Our lives. It's a little yeah. like uh, offering an actor a, a raise by giving his character a promotion on the starship. Oh, oh, oh. oh. the wow. Baron doesn't know what you're talking about, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> the Baron is confused, <laughs> and he says, "Yeah, yes, uh, well." As you can see, I've, <laughs> I've, a great deal of damage has been done to my caravan, and it will be costly to repair it. Uh, and, I can repair things, and, by the way, if you'd just like to hire me to do that as well. <laughs> We're a little hard up for cash, sir. <laughs> uh, perhaps I, I could offer you five gold each for taking this journey with me. Sir, we could make more sticking around here and picking pockets. I'm pretty good at that. I mean, no, I'm not. I mean, we like you, Baron. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> the beer is delicious, but we got to pay our bill. Yeah. The Baron genuinely likes you guys. Yeah. So what the Baron does is the Baron sort of sways the crowd. Oh, oh that's says, a good call. And the Baron says, 
my friends, this may be my last delivery. And and there, this gasp goes through the crowd. They're they're so sad. Fine, fine, we'll do it. Fine. <sighs> Five gold at a party. <laughs> it's our last <laughs> offer. Five gold at oh, a wait, party. Can I make I... one more request? Yes. Can I mount this bandit skull to the front of your caravan? I'll help you do it myself. Yeah! yeah! Still, still on your arm. Still on my We've been arm. here for like two and a half hours. Like, Quit drinking, like, drinking. Drink it. It's just like, Whatever. it's stuck! All right, you accept. The crowd cheers you again. Yeah. And the Baron says to you, I am truly grateful. And he's sincere. So he says, uh, we will set out first thing in the morning. Does that all sound amenable to you? Yes. yes. Dandy. Sounds damn amenable. All right. So you head off. <laughs> You head off down the road toward Nestora. It's a bright, sunny day. The road is quiet, there's a light breeze. And you manage to make your way up to something that's called the Old Road. The Old Road is this giant and at one time majestic highway that is a remnant of the original Sauron Empire. And you come upon a couple of stopped vehicles in front of you. The beer baron says a, a curse in a language that none of you understand. And he turns up and he says, it's a toll road. And standing at the front with his arms crossed and with his hand in his beard and looking right at you is a one-eyed dwarf. Dad? <laughs> <laughs> and he scowls and he looks at you oh, and he tugs shit. on his beard and he says, I remember you. You recognize him immediately as the proprietor of the shop you wrecked. At some point, one of you gained a dedicated rival. I feel like you have the rival. Have you got a rival? rival? <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. What did you do to uh, uh, grab this rival's attention? It's this merchant dwarf in the last city that we were in. Oh, yeah, that guy's a Such a Yeah. So I went into his shop to find out more about my necklace. Yeah. And he wasn't helpful at all. Yeah. So I may have smashed a couple of his relics. Yeah, well, just a couple items, not like a whole shop. Well, she then threw a Oh, right. Motion. Yeah, I got a little The excited, beer bear remember? looks at you and he says, you, you know this dwarf? Oh, well, yeah, we go, we go way back. He's a, uh, he's a good friend, this guy. <laughs> And the dwarf shouts out, Holzik ain't no friend of yours. Double yeah. toll. <gasps> Double toll? Hey, Baron, I think it's a, you gotta pay a toll. <laughs> <laughs> How much is, is the it? toll? Yeah. I ask. How much you got? Oh, see, that's, that's not, not the right answer. That's, that's not That's how fair. much we've got. While this conversation is happening. Good call. I <laughs> try to sneak into the little toll booth. Uh-huh and I'll just steal our toll. Go ahead and make yourself a stealth roll right. and tell me what your stealth is. Yeah, you did. Okay, 18. Oh! Well, he can't see you. Sweet! Oh, nice. Do we have any beer left or we leave it all at... Uh, you got beer left. Yeah. Would he take some beer? And Wolsick likes beer. Wolsick can't afford it. I'm feeling Holsick, really guilty can... here, man. Yeah, well, you should. You know, you know what makes that that your troubles go away. <laughs> Beer that you can't afford. All right, make a, go ahead out. and make a communication. Um, you can use. Uh, uh, this is definitely going to be persuasion. Make a skill test there. Hey, okay. hey, fifteen. Not bad. I think by by trying to downplay the fact that she wrecked his shop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's um, so funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We can fight about things that have happened in the past. But think okay. about what you're... <laughs> oh no, I mean, I mean that's not an option. <laughs> or we could we could look at it like an experience that we've all shared. And hey, isn't your life really better now? Now that you can get drunk on this free beer? Yeah. <laughs> no! Oh. He had a good roll. <laughs> I'll taste your beer. Yeah. All right. He uh, turns around and heads uh, over to his little toll booth. No, guys. We have a cup his, for you right no, here. We have a cup. Just to get his cup. We have a cup. Oh, look. Hold sick. We have a cup for you. I uh, already poured it in this cup. Right. Uh, all right. So go ahead, right. go ahead and make yourself another communication roll. 14. Uh -huh. 
What he hears is, uh, we'll pour it for you in a cup of gold. He so like he turns around and comes you? back and he's like, Oh. All right. Okay. Here All right. You go. So he grabs it and takes a Woo! takes a takes a good hearty, hearty swig of it. It's the good stuff, like right? That. We get from the Just good like stuff. Just like that. And the and the dwarf uh whole sig uh says, uh, I'll take a keg. And the beer baron unhooks a thing and rolls it off and uh and gives it to him. And Holsig uh, turns around and he punches some things. Make another stealth roll. Yeah. This is making me nervous. I'm good at this. Fifteen. Thirteen is a, fifteen is enough. I got super stealth bonuses. Yeah. Okay. So he turns around, doesn't see you at all. Right. And just grabs that mug, and he hits a couple of buttons, and the gate arm goes up. Sweet. Have you found any cash yet? <laughs> Have I found any cash yet? There's a little box. Yeah. Uh, a little box that, that looks like a lockbox. We're just ruining this guy. I know. And in, it's like when we're not ruining his inside, business. Inside that lockbox is uh, a piece of tape and a dead bird. Uh, <laughs> he's got no I'll take money. it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right. So he, uh, he waves you through. And as, as he goes by, he looks at you with his one eye. And he says, this ain't over. Hey, wait, what was that thing I wrecked? One of the relics that you smashed was okay. of sort of like religious significance to someone. Okay. Like, as an yeah. apology, hey, apologetically. as an apology, what was that thing I wrecked? <laughs> That's not quite what, what I was meant. that thing I <laughs> It was me heart and dreams, Pinky. I don't well, know at least I do. you still got <laughs> that dead bird and that piece of tape. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all laugh out of there. Like run as fast so you head as on. So the day goes on, and uh, you sort of reach the, uh, this road continues to go up, and it gets really, really windy. And the wind is like whipping up and threatening to knock some of the kegs off. So one of you, whoever's strongest, should probably go make a strength test uh, with a might focus if anyone has it to try and stop I'm that uh, stop those kegs from Two falling off. So I guess I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. One. Okay. What do I? I just go. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 Well, no, no. Okay. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Gra you grab hold of it, um, and you're just too little. No. And, and six kegs go. <gasps> six kegs. Go, go bouncing off and they roll off. You. We could have given all that to the dwarf. He would have been so happy. <laughs> <laughs> you could have. That's right. That uh, the bird smells really, really bad. Oh. How's the tape smell? <laughs> like dead bird. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> They've been living in that box together a long yeah. time. So you arrive at Brew Corps. The Baron says thank you for getting us through without there being any troubles with Holsig the Dwarf. And right, the party. Uh, I'm gonna give party you five, five gold, gold. party. Five gold in the party! Five gold in the party! Five gold so, each. So, does someone have a historical lore? I have historical lore, lore and research. historical lore test. 17. 17. Yeah. So, you know, this this place is, is ancient. Very important people have lived here throughout history. And this was an actually like an old Saurian governor's mansion. And he was a brutal Saurian uh, bad guy. Uh, guy. He was, he was, yeah, he was a bad guy. The Baron doesn't know any of this. The Baron just knows course, that this right, is a yeah. big nifty house that he loves. Right. He introduces you to uh, his uh, sort of like steward of the house. Her name is Lasada. Um, she is Lasada. Carne is, Lasada. <laughs> Lasada, <laughs> Lasada <laughs> is a very stern uh, old Saurian woman with a cybernetic eye, and she she looks at you and she's like, ah, more of his friends. Uh, we, don't, and, we don't know him that well, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. He takes you into his personal tap room and he says, I beg of you, help yourselves to the finest beers in the, oh, in yeah. the manor. We are going to get Best beer and, party! Uh, <laughs> Cronk. Cronk. And uh, <laughs> as he leads you to this room, okay, he points out an artifact to you. It's on, it's on a pedestal. Mm. Um, what is it? Uh, it's shaped kind of like a jar. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lid to it. Um, I don't know what's inside of it, but it's a purple color and there are like these weird like flowery sort of engravings mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. It's a six demon jar. Six demon. What? You know what it is? Well, we do now. Maybe you should have made it like a two demon jar just for <laughs> safety. <laughs> and he says, and he says uh, it's protected by a magical containment field. 
Oh, good. Do not worry. Okay. Then, uh, then he walks you down a hallway, and there's a tapestry on the wall. What's on that tapestry? It shows the people who sort of overthrew that Saurian overlord lived there, mm -hmm. and so there's a tapestry of mm -hmm. that shows the the great and, battle. And what's what's beautiful about that is it is orcs and humans and other Saurians and dwarves and elves all rising up. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. When you when you walk in, you see. A, a keg of ale that you never thought you would ever see. You've heard about it. You cannot believe that this is actually here. And what's that keg called? It's the, the Grandma's Sweat. Stout. <laughs> sweat Stout. Grandma's Sweat Stout. Grandma's yeah. Sweat Stout. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Baron sees you guys eyeing the Grandma's Sweat Stout, and he says, ah. Yes, my new friends, the legends are true. <laughs> and he pulls out the special grandma's sweat stout glasses, mm -hmm. and he pours you each uh, one of these mugs of grandma's sweat stouts. And I would like you all to make a oh. constitution oh, drinking man. test. Oh, boy. Oh, Let's yeah. see Is how there really, like, you a handle the party. Focus? 11. Uh huh. Uh, how are you Six. doing? Uh huh. Oh, you're terrible at this. How are you doing, <laughs> Such a lightweight. I'm at ten. As it turns out, <laughs> you guys are, are wrecked. <laughs> yes. You are drunk like yeah. fresh. Thanks for my five gold. Right. I've Harsh. never been so happy to cock up a roll as you, I have. <laughs> you have never been so loaded in your life. Oh. And as the evening unfolds, yeah, the Baron comes up to you, <laughs> drunkards. And he I'm says, wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What is it like being tall? <laughs> <laughs> the Baron thinks that's amazing. Like the Baron <laughs> loves that. But honestly, Lasada's being kind of a <laughs> about everything. So, that is up that so ass. Um, you decide <laughs> to like either that. deliberately offend her or play a practical joke on her. I will practical play a practical joke, joke on yeah, that Yeah, I thought practical you joke might. Every yeah, day. Yeah, I Gold, thought you might choose to do that. Joke. Does it involve a bird and some tape? You <laughs> know it does. Oh, that's exactly why I stole it. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. You guys all judged me. <laughs> I knew. And I sneak and, up yeah. behind her. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. And I tape the bird. Yeah. I tape the bird to her butt. <laughs> and then we call her bird butt. <laughs> that is the funniest thing <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, having successfully done, done this, the Baron says, uh, he sort of toasts you guys during dinner. We so, smell the bird? He has a little. <laughs> You can smell the bird. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the Baron actually looks over at, at, at Lasada and he says, he says, Lasada, are you feeling unwell? <laughs> <laughs> and Lasada says, I'm feeling fine, unlike some people here. Hmm. I feel awesome, Lasada. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You have an amazing, amazing evening. Yeah. Lasada never finds out as she escorts you <laughs> Each one of you to your bedroom. Uh, she, and she says, she says to you, perhaps you should wash, because you stink <laughs> like a dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> Can I bird say butt. the one who smelt it, dealt it? <laughs> <laughs> and you sleep the sleep of the very drunk. <laughs> Morning comes. You feel as if the caravan itself has rolled entirely over your heads. <laughs> And you come down for breakfast, and the Baron welcomes you to breakfast, and and he and the Baron looks great, and uh, he actually passes around a th uh, these little elixirs, and he says, "You all look like you could use a little bit of the old Baron's kick it up." Yes. <laughs> this is a very. This is, I immediately this down is it. Great, right. yeah. your hangover is gone. Sweet. Oh. So Don't as you it. are eating breakfast, you smell Lasada before she enters the room. <laughs> she still got bird butt. She still got bird butt. Oh man, she did she not change her clothes. This change? Uh, listen, clothes. maybe don't judge what cybernetic Saurians choose to do with their evenings. <laughs> <laughs> and she has with her a middle-aged dwarf. Uh -oh. Dad. 
<laughs> Are you my daddy? <laughs> the dwarf is a middle-aged woman. Oh, not dad. Oh, sorry. Not who's not your dad, but um, she's in bad shape. Uh, she's got a lot of blood on her. Uh, you can tell by looking at her that not all that blood is her. And she says, Baron, there are intruders in the brewery. Small, swift, lots of teeth. Dachshunds? Are they dachshunds? <laughs> they're not, they're not dachshunds. Long hair. She says, there are workers trapped in, in, in the brew house. What? And the beer baron says, my friends, the brew house is all I have, and my best guards were killed in the caravan attack. Will you help me once again? Five gold. Five gold at a party! party. <laughs> Baron says, I will give you five gold <laughs> and a party. Another party. And a, and a, Can and I get a, some more of that grandma and, sweat? And another party, and he turns to you and he, and, and, and he says, plus two traveling growlers of grandma's sweat stouts. Wow. So How much could I pawn those for my is my first Gear up. Well, you'll Gear have to up. Let's go. <laughs> you agree to the task? Yeah. yeah. So you head down toward the brew house. Are we singing a jaunty hiking song? I don't know. No, we're screaming. Five we're gold screaming. at a party. <laughs> Five gold at a party. Uh, you make your way down to the brew house. Now, this is a massive operation. There are silos with grains and, and huge freezers full of hops. Um, and you can see that it is uh, sort of put together with this wonderful mix of magic and technology, much like Volcana herself. Keggy rushes up to this mosaic along one wall that sort of looks like a combination of monitors and readouts. And he looks at it and he says, fermentation vat is operating within normal parameters. Mill four is in trouble. The ventilation systems in mill four are offline. Um, you must have uh, come in through the vents. I would like you to make a perception tracking test. Oh, wow. Oh gosh, that was terrible, Allison. Uh, Nine. Uh, 14. 10. Uh, just awful, so don't <laughs> All right, so uh, you see that there is a trail of blood um, that is uh, uh, both dwarven uh, and, and something else uh, that leads down a passageway, and from there you can hear a hissing and some sort of like guttural strange sounds. Can we see them or is it too dark down that? that passageway. You know, it's well lit all the yeah. way down, and then what you see is sort of like a little bit of a haze around a doorway, mm -hmm. um, and above the doorway it says Mill 4. Hey guys, we so we think that they're, that they're all down there. They're not in like multiple places. I think they might be concentrated in Mill 4. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 let, I, I leave Jeremy here to scout mm -hmm. upstairs, though. You get to this doorway, and as you get to the doorway, uh, what you see are these giant grain mill units. Three of the four are, you can see that they're operating normally. The fourth one has been just torn open and uh, there are a bunch of things kind of like, like kind of down on the bottom. There's a couple of workers that are up at that gash and they're trying to sort of close that gash up. And you see that there are uh, a number of corpses there are these claw and bite marks all over them, and one of them uh, is very badly charred. Oh, oh no. You're I, in the front, what I, would you like to do? I guess I just run in, because I mean, I'm best hand to hand anyway, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna run in and try to like jump in front of the mill that's got, that the people are trying to fix. Everybody go ahead, please, and oh. <laughs> roll initiative. So, here's what happens. You go charging into the room. Heck yeah, I do, because oh. I'm smart. As you're running in, one of these little creatures that you didn't see drops down on top of you, and, uh, and it tries to bite you. 14. Oh no, it hits me. All right. Teeth just sink into you. And uh, so they hit you for two points okay. through your armor. Kiliel. <laughs> Whatever one's attacking her, uh -huh. I'm gonna shoot with my longbow. Go ahead. 14. So uh, roll your damage. 10. Nice. 16. Oof. Yeah, you do. I hope that thing's dead. Please be dead. How much? 16. 16. It's got arrow. It's dead. Yay! Woo! 
So what you what you feel is you feel the claws of that thing pull off of you. It flies back, and there is a spark, and it goes straight through the far wall. When that spark goes off, there there's a small explosion to it. Oh no! And that hits you for five points. So does your armor protect you? It does. Okay, Ankia. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do the thing that you got to do, and I'm gonna Get take aim and shoot, of, okay. shoot one of these things. <laughs> okay. Eleven, twelve. Uh, you hit it. So go ahead and make uh, make your damage roll. Thirteen. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. So it is. It is severely wounded. Lemley, what would you like to do? If I attack them, they'll explode. That could happen. Uh, <laughs> I'll shoot the one that he just shot. Okay. Great. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, I did hit it. Oh wow. Uh, that's double sixes. That's a stunt. Yeah, 17. Six point stunt. As you pull the trigger on Betty and the energy is released from the barrel of your rifle, um, there is an explosion in front of you. Uh -huh. And that explosion, really Wheaton, really well Wheaton. <laughs> and that explosion as it turns out does f all to you. <laughs> <laughs> However, because this explosion happens, it absorbs all the energy of the blaster weapon and the attack automatically fails. What? Oh, what? You have historical lore, is that correct? Yes. You recognize these creatures, they're Hellions. What the hell hellions are Hellions? Are, 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 are they these, like Funyuns, are these, but like these, opposites? These, these Hellions are, are evil abomination creatures created during the Chaos Wars. When a Hellion is killed, its energy returns to the Hellion Alpha <gasps> that spawned it. And when a Hellion Alpha consumes enough energy, it releases another Hellion. Does the Alpha Hellion usually travel with the uh, or is it usually far away? It's usually and to very itself? it's usually very close based on where you saw that spark of energy travel away. Through the wall. Through the wall. That that right. spark That's of energy is, is going back to the alpha that spawned this hell. Uh, I have to go over there and see if 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 there's a door. I have to get I have to get to it. You get down to the end of this walkway and it's 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 dark here. Mm -hmm. There's a wall and then there is a wall over here and in this wall are a pair of big heavy doors. I will tell you what it says on those walls as soon Speak, as Speak friend and enter. <laughs> as soon as I, it says well six. So one hellion comes skittering down the walkway toward you. Uh, this sort of like endless hissing and yeah, I mean it's Thanks, sort HP of, Lovecraft. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's your defense? Defense 11. <laughs> it, it tries to, to jump onto you and then and just falls just short yes. of, of You successfully where, dodge. Let's where, give him a little agency in this situation. where you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, another, another one of these uh, Hellion creatures um, comes climbing up the ladder and tries to, tries to attack you. Can I just say I kick it? And uh, it rolls 13. Oh, it hits me. Eight points to you, so. Another two. All right. Uh, another one of these guys comes skittering up to you. Uh, it's, on my, it's on my leg at this point, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and no, 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 nineteen. <gasps> oh, there's a bolsel garge. Uh, seven points. Oh, that's a nice noise. And so then, oh no. Uh, suddenly, there's this little burst of prismatic smoke. <gasps> And you're gonna take a oh, negative. Gone. You're gonna take a negative one penalty on any test you make until the end of your next. So turn. I just you just made me a little high. Well, one last Italian comes charging up to you. Ah! Seventeen to hit. Oof. Right, and it's stunted wow. as well for seven. Uh, and then the same thing happens. It bursts in a cloud of 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 this sort of like bright shimmery uh, uh, prismatic smoke and it reappears um, uh, just out of reach to your right. Oh. And you have a negative one modifier on every test you make every until test. your next round. Around this time, uh, Ankia, Jeremy comes back in to the top of the thing. Uh, Jeremy's like, looks like I picked the wrong week to start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Such a classic Jeremy line. <laughs> classic Jeremy. And he says, and he says, he says, there's nothing upstairs, boss. Thanks for the report. What would you like to do? 
Ankya. Um, I'm gonna ex- try and shoot the one that she. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So uh, make your attack roll. Ten. And uh, did you minus one because yeah. that's a test? So oh, great. So you extend your blaster pistol, and as you squeeze the trigger, that uh, burst of energy comes out of the front of your blaster, and uh, it explodes in front of you. Um, See? God, I don't okay. like these things. And it does. Oh, it's damaging me. Fantastic. It hits you for five. What? Which may be absorbed by your armor. I don't know. Yes, it's almost uh, all. And then you hear behind you. Oh no, the other one. Uh, I should have turned around. Hank, <laughs> he's standing right behind. <laughs> you hear like. Oh. All right, so you got that going on there. I'm going to ready, and I'm going to put away my blaster and take up my sword. Okay, great. So you got a hellion on your leg. What are you going to do? I'm going to kick it off of me as hard as I can okay. and jump down Uh huh. and try to run with them. All right, make a melee attack test. Oh, that's nice. good. Stunt 17. Six. I'm going to have you roll 2d6 and add your strength modifier for the damage that you inflict on it. Nice. Yeah. 11... Plus two, 13. It crashes into the wall in, in this puff of black smoke, and then you see another one of those sparks show up. Do I have time um, to say duck? I, you I are actually say. far enough away from it that the, that the explosion that happens doesn't affect you. Oh. Slith. I try to open the door as my minor action. Uh, does, it, I mean, does it show any outward signs to being locked? Or There's a keypad to one, oh, to a one side. Oh, a keypad. There's a keypad to <laughs> one side of the door. Oh, fantastic. Try one, 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 one. I bet that'll work. <laughs> Could I try using uh, some of my lightning magic? Um, unless, unless anybody knows the combination, yeah. and they're not telling me. Um, one, 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 one. Yes, yeah, so I exceeded, I exceeded, I exceeded the target hand. number. Yes. yes. The instant the lightning emerges from your hands, uh, there is an explosion. It hits the... you for five points. Oh, no. Me for five points. Um, you are uh, no. Okay. Uh, Allison, you are next to him. Oh gosh. And Sorry. It <laughs> hits you for ten points. Oh. There is also that hellion nearby. Right. It hits that hellion. Oh. Oh. That might be bad, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so seven. The uh, lock itself appears unchanged. <sighs> All right, guys. Now that hellion that was just zapped by you is pissed, and it grabs up <laughs> onto you. It's not looking good. No. This well, is it, not yeah. looking good. There's a lot of what I get for trying to shock only... the pad. I don't like that look on your face. Oh, Take that look oh, off your face. Oh, no. If you die it's right like, now, I'm quitting. It hits you for 15. <gasps> uh, Hank. I'm sorry. Ankia. Who is Ankia? Hank? Ankia. <laughs> From behind you. Yeah, I know. Oh no. Twelve. It does not hit. Thank All right. Goodness. But now you know where that hellion is. I sure do, and I sure do have my sword ready. <laughs> Helio. So how do I heal him? So roll two d six, and then he and we'll add his Constitution modifier. Come on. Eight plus one. So you get so nine, nine back. <laughs> okay. That's okay. good. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Now he can take one more hit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, Ankia, you're up. I was, yes, I know. My major action is to uh, to uh, hit the, the frickin' jerk yeah, yeah, hit face the hellion that's with the, with your right behind me. Yeah, great, go ahead, hit With him. my sword. Okay. Great. Uh, ooh. So, so you 17. Roll. 17 is, is sir, absolutely good enough for a hit. Correct. Uh, Seven. 10, 12, 12. 12. <laughs> Do you stab it and, and and poke it and pierce it, and you ble- it's bleeding. Yeah. Lemley. Yeah? What are you doing? I run up to the one that's attacking her, and I kick that one as well. Make a melee attack, and just and then add your your uh, your strength modifier. Mm. Uh, eight, who knew? You kick it with your with your, cy- with your cyborg leg. Yeah. Uh, and it actually goes. <laughs> Little bastard. That's horrible. Slethk. <laughs> uh, I drink a healing potion. Right, so roll 2d6 and add your constitution modifier. Eight, nine. As you are finishing drinking your healing potion, the uh, hellion uh, at your feet, uh, 10 is its attack roll. Nope, Uh, I have defense 11. Woo! 
Well, all right. Ah. So it doesn't manage to get through your robe. <laughs> My sexy weird. robe. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ankia, uh, 17. It is oh. going to pierce your armor oh, and deal a mighty blow. Oh, oh no. wow. That's quite a stunt. Yeah, well, it did get four stunt points. So it hits you for eight, um, and it pierces your armor, so uh, your armor is halved. Ankia, you're up. Um, as my miner, I'm gonna tell Jeremy to try and get into the, the ventilation system. All right, so Jeremy, Jeremy uh, uh, scrambles up. He's very uh, dexterous. One of, the, one of the ladders, and he sees there's an open vent, and he looks at you, and, and, and he crouches down on the edge of the catwalk, and he goes, I'm a leaf on the wind, boss! And he jumps. Classic Jeremy. And, 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 and jumps into the vent. Now my major is I stab, stab, stabby, stab. <laughs> stab away. Uh, 13. Uh, yes, uh, that, is, uh, that is good for a hit. I'm gonna go for a pinpoint mm -hmm. on this very badly injured Hellion. Yes. Uh, you chop down and you actually cleave off the entire bottom half of its jaw, Ew. rendering its bite pretty useless. Okay. And as you follow through, uh, you take off one of its legs. Okay. Lemley. Uh, <laughs> Bing! Dr. Lobotomy out. Uh huh. And um, I'm going to try to incapacitate the Go other for one it. as well. 11 with doubles. Mm hmm. Great. How many stunt points do you have? Three? Yeah, sure. Use them. I'm gonna use them to chop all its legs off. What's your damage? I rolled 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I definitely um, not just chop off one of its legs, but I chop off all of its little legs. Yeah, um, and she probably says something cool while she does it. What does I she say? say? Oh, you see, you're cute now. <laughs> <laughs> As the hellion is on the ground going. <laughs> <laughs> Great. The last remaining hellion looks up, and uh, you see a burst of prismatic smoke, oh. and the Hellion is gone. Right around this time. Oh, great. Uh, Keggy comes speeding Keggy! Into, What's the code? into the room. <laughs> and Keggy says, uh, be careful, there's explosive mill dust in this room. Oh, well, we did a good job not igniting the explosive mill That's what the blaster bus. rifles oh, were And the, yeah. Keggy comes down, and he sees you at the door, and he screams, stop! Oh, no. He comes down, and he says, the security system shows a Hellion Alpha in Well 6. Could have told you that, Keggy. Well 6 is the largest and most valuable beer we have made this year. You have to save the beer. The beer. Save Five the beer, more gold save the world. and another party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he looks at you and he says, You are wounded. Yes. And a little tap comes out of Keggy. Oh, Ooh. I'm wounded too. Yeah, at this <laughs> Me, point, also I. Right. So am I. There might be so wounded basically, more than you're me. like, I wounded. I I <laughs> so, um, Keggy uh, heals all of you yes. uh, with his uh, healing uh, beer elixir. Keggy um, walks over to the, to the pad and he types one, 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 one. Oh. And the doors. Sorry, uh, I gave them way too much credit. Man, was that in the book or are you just <laughs> mocking us? He'll never tell. <laughs> you open up the door. Oh, man. And you hear... <laughs> ha ha <laughs> Right now in my head it looks like it looks like a like pinky in the brain, but like brain, <laughs> but giant and black. Yes. And at the far end of this room is this Hellion Alpha. He has these huge bulging muscles and these enormous long claw hands. And he is uh, sort of like stretched out kind of on his back. And he's got a big old bucket in his hand. A beer. And he is beer? just totally he's drunk. really enjoying all of this beer. He's, <laughs> he's, a, he is, he's a ball kind of drunk. So let's, let's sneak up and then like slowly insert a sword into him. 
Yeah. <laughs> you can uh, you can definitely do that. Make a all dexterity stealth. stealth check. All yeah. of us stealth? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, we if we're going to try to sneak in without him seeing us. I did not, you guys. Wow. 12, wow. 17, 19, no, 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 19 yep. with a stunt. Uh-huh. Three of you can roll dice. <laughs> are sneaking oh. up, are sneaking up to <laughs> the Hellion Alpha. And as you're getting close to it, uh, you notice Sleth uh, steps in a bucket. Nice. <laughs> it's been positioned on top of a banana peel. <laughs> and the bucket goes, Kerplang! <laughs> and the uh, the Hellion Alpha goes. <gasps> Maybe we should have snuck one at a time. <laughs> and, he, and he look and he looks up. <sighs> and now you all need to roll initiative. Oh, oh nice. we didn't like stealth at all because of this guy. Woo. I am just not doing it right now. So you're uh, first. What would you like to do? I will ready my uh, my blaster. Okay, terrific. Lemley. Can I sneak up along the back of the wall and attack him from behind? Sure. With Dr. Lobotomy? Yeah, of course. <laughs> you say you had to backstab the drunk Hellion Alpha with Dr. Lobotomy? Yes, I do. Go ahead, just make your attack roll, and I'll tell you what happens. Yes, I rolled triple fours. But yeah, oh yeah, you you get it. Sweet. Yeah. And then I get a stunt. Yeah, and what's your stunt? Yeah, I want to do lightning attack so I can get a double attack on him. All right, I'm going to let you lightning attack. You okay, can hit cool. him with then Dr. Lobotomy. So I go back from behind and then I stab him again. Great. Make your damage roll for Dr. Lobotomy. 9, 10, 11. Okay. Sweet. Nice. Uh, 8. Nice. 11 plus 8? Yes. Nice. Great. Uh, so, you inflict a 19 points of damage on the Hellion Alpha, uh, who's like. Bleh! Helio. Like, yeah. What? Helio. Classic Helio. I am going to, I'll do a, I'll go to shoot him with my longbow. All right. Fire away. Oh, I got doubles. 11, wait, plus 15. Because uh -huh. I have a one point stunt. Okay. I'm both piercing armor and using pinpoint attack, which mm -hmm. means I rolled two of these suckers. Okay. All right. Wow, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm From going to hit him with a shock blast. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's a good roll. And target number 13, so I got that, and I've yep. got uh, five stunt points. Fantastic. Yes. Spell stunt spell points. Stunts. We haven't done that We haven't yet. seen oh, any st awesome. spell stunts in this entire yes. series. Good yeah, thing. because you're so awful at rolling. <laughs> 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 oh, that's right. I, I knew there was a reason. Uh, I So as my action, I, uh, I prepared. And mm -hmm. so I, I have to interrupt another character during their attack. This is yep. my last chance to do that, so I'm going to fire my blaster. Oh, do it. Right. <laughs> oh, good, call, good call, good call. Yeah, good do call. it. You keep studying that. Yeah, so keep figuring out what you're doing. It's 13. Um, your blaster blasts him. All right, excellent. So I'm going to go for a pinpoint attack. Uh-huh. And 10 damage to the giant thing. Uh, he goes, <laughs> and where the Hellion Alpha was, is now an acrid, oily cloud of smoke. I'm sorry I didn't let you use your thing. I had spell stunts. <laughs> <laughs> Just cast it on the beer to make it the, taste better. You snaked the, my I'll tell you, here, the, the thing is, you guys kicked its ass. <laughs> I mean, you kicked it. That's what you get ass. for kicking a bucket. Yeah. yeah. He shouldn't have been so drunk. Okay, you're right. The bucket thing was okay. I, I deserve that. Let yeah. me tell you some things. How do we keep the acrid, oily sludge out of the beer? You, uh, but with my spell, your spell. I stunt yeah. lightning it and clean it up. Dun, dun, yes, dun, you dun, do. Dun, you dun, save dun, the beer. You save the day. That's I gonna save the beer, save guys. The day, Five and gold and a party. The Five beer. gold and a party. Five <laughs> gold and a party. Let us, as the Alpha's body has dissolved, <laughs> let us now dissolve to later. Oh, yes. I see what you did there. <laughs> and we dissolve my shame. No. <laughs> no. It's a stain. I'm sorry. That 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 is a 26 point stunt. <laughs> um, you are back in the beer baron's manner, and he says, you have saved my business, you have saved my home. Yeah. We may, like, I don't want to stretch, but have saved the world. We may have. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what that thing was going to do. It's true. It had a lot of beer to drink. That's true. A lot of hellions to spawn. And he, and, and, uh, and he says, had that 
had the Alpha Hellion, which these lands have not seen since time not remembered. That's not a good sign, guys. It's a bad sign. Were left unchecked, the brew house would have been overrun. And it was only a matter of time before my house was overrun. Yep. So, young lady, <laughs> in a very real way, you saved my world. Aww. I'll take it. Ten gold and a party. <gasps> Ten gold and a party! Ten and a party. Ten thousand! Six. I honestly thought it was going to be I love gold. You, All right, you, two you, of you, uh, you let out a mighty cheer. Uh, the party music begins again. And something smells like bird butt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>